Hello everybody, my name is Mama Turaimana and I'm studying in SMA in Wadis And my class in 10 Science 5 and my number is 16. Okay, in this occasion, I will tell you of description of the sun. That is, why does the sun shine? Why does the sun shine is a song by Hazaret from Tom Glazers. Okay, the first slide. I will description of constituent of the sun. The sun is a giant incandescent which contains hydrogen that's built in, up into helium. We cannot live there, but without the sun, we cannot live on the earth. Other constituent compounds consist of iron, nickel, silicon, magnesium, carbon, neon, calcium, and chromium. Okay, in the first paragraph, there is the word, we cannot live there. Yes, we really cannot live in the sun because there is there it is very hot and our body cannot withstand the tremendous the tremendous in heat in the sun. And in the first paragraph there is also the word without the sun we cannot live on the earth. Yes, without the sun we cannot live on earth because of plants, animals and we need heat and sunlight to life and in the second paragraph explain that the sun has so many elements that is iron nickel silicon magnesium carbon neon calcium and chromium okay the second paragraph i will description of the benefits of the sun the benefits of the sun are divided into three, namely the benefits of light, heat, and energy from the sun. The benefits of sunlight that can be used as natural lighting. Without sunlight, the earth will always be and without light, also plants cannot carry out photosynthesis. If plants do not carry out photosynthesis, we cannot live on earth because plants do not produce oxygen and if the earth is not exposed to the sun's heat maybe this earth will become an habited planet and there will be no land leave the sun heat that we can use as alternative in drying clothes and solar heat is very useful in killing gums besides that solar Energy is also very usable as a power plant. I mentioned earlier that there is a consequence of being of being exposed to excessive heat and sunlight, among other cancer, sunburn, depression, and many others. We cannot. We can prevent it by using sunscreen, closer, clothing, and special sunscreen. In the third slide, I will description of of the sun content. The sun is very hot, so the sun contents that make iron, copper, aluminum, and many others thing turn into a gas. And about three quarters of the sun must consist of hydrogen, while the rest is contain helium. The remaining mass, 1.69 percent equivalent to 5,629 times the mass of the Earth, such as oxygen, carbon, neon, iron, and more. That's why the sun is so hot. The sun's temperature reached billions of degrees. Okay, the fourth slide. I will description of the size of the sun. I will explain the size of the sun. The sun has a very large size. Even the sun can accommodate millions of earth if the sun is empty. Besides that, the sun becomes the center of our solar system because the sun is located in the middle of the planet and the reason the sun looks small because 
because the distance sun to the earth is 93 million miles away. Okay, the the five slide. I will description of the origin of the heat and the sunlight. The I will explain the origin of the sunrise and heat. The sunrise and heat come from thermonuclear fusion reaction that occur the ca the core of the sun are result of convection the fusion energy is flowed to the surface from the convection flow it creates a very strong magnetic field the area of magnetic field is relatively darker or colder then the surroundings So it is called sunspot, and but scientists also say sun are a giant atomic crusher. Okay, the cover. This are from me of the sun. Why does the sun shine? And from this presentation, we can conclude that the sun is very useful for a life. Okay, I'm Mama Troy Marana, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.